<laughs> you're going to like the episode. What's the episode? You want to guess? Come on, take a guess. I don't want to take a guess. Come on, take a guess. I don't know. Fishing. <laughs> okay. I don't know if we could talk for 45 minutes about fishing, but I can. think we can definitely talk for 40 minutes can about also fish? meditation. <laughs> Okay. It's about getting really silent and being really quiet and meditating. Let's give give a meditation 101. Where do we start? It's like you see when you just started, you already have an impression of what meditation is. It's the it's the propaganda out there, right? It's the mind. I won't use the word propaganda. It's the mind out there, right? Silent, sitting quietly. You know what is meditation? Not to be weak. term of the mind that is already created follow carefully right you said the episode you said you're going to be fun episode you said it's meditation okay there is an assumption we know what meditation is we have seen buddha sitting we have seen people sitting everybody meditation is eyes closed and sitting meditation is being free of that mind that the world has placed on to you take your time right if somebody says happiness we all have an idea based on your conditioning right relationship you have an idea i have a friend who has a relationship with his wife i don't know it's been many years um maybe 15 years ago he has a relationship with his wife for many years who's bedridden she's bedridden she has cancer she's bedridden very beautiful guy very successful but so devoted to her we don't think that's that could be relationship we think relationship is two people holding hands and walking on a beach follow so what is meditation is not becoming a victim to the created mind follow can you follow this it is about going to the new it is about not allowing the past and what we know to blind us what is the created mind is everything that i know the mind that is out there like now when is when i say meditation there will be some people who are listening to this are interested some people who are not interested but all of them are reacting from a mind that is pre created from and who creates it we create it based on experience based on tradition based on what we know it is like subconsciously created not subconscious um you can say that like it's consciousness you know let me go into the word consciousness consciousness is all that we are conscious of at one time we were not conscious the earth was round even though in the east for thousands of years they've always known the earth is round but the west they thought it was flat only about I don't know how many years ago they said no 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 when they didn't know the earth was round for them the earth was flat so follow carefully eh? the accepted norm i'm not saying there's anything wrong with the accepted norm but you're limited by the norm it's like but yes yes but also and the limitations to what we should believe and we shouldn't we shouldn't believe the earth is flat because it's not no but not. that's all they knew no and it's not even they believed it that's all they knew that is all the information they have no but there's also like truths right yeah so meditation is about seeking truth for yourself not being caught by the truth that has been accepted so far so i could say that like it is i the truth is that we need oxygen to live but there is gravity that holds us down do i i don't need to explore that further truth right no you right? are not in meditation now hang on you are propounding everything you have read everything you have thought about nothing wrong i've read i've learned but if that's all there is i'm blinded by what i know is meditation is you have an experience of you you have an experience of apshi we all have an experience of apshi a part of your experience of you is how we experience you can you follow that yeah how you experience you and how we experience you is all there is there as up up she okay is there anything more there should be yeah so what we know is limiting you isn't it 
Yeah. What we know is not invalid. It is valid. But it's also blinding you to anything more. So meditation is to live on that age. It's like what Socrates say. An unexamined life is a useless life. But hang on, let me, let me put a punch through. You know? All over the world, I think we are being exploited by many people in regards to meditation. The person will have long beard, a guru will have a long beard. He will sit like this, you know, he won't smoke, he won't do this, he will be a vegetarian. This is just the mind. You follow? He might be, he might have a long beard, he might be vegetarian. I'm not saying anything wrong with that. But you reduce it to your knowing. Whenever anything is reduced to the knowing, it's not meditation. Meditation is living in the cusp of knowing and what is beyond knowing. Could we establish that? Yes, I guess what, what I'm trying to sort of establish, right, like, this is like a one-on-one basics. Like, yeah. In terms of me and who I am and my relationship to other people, yes, there's so much unknown. I've only been alive okay. for this many. I, I accept that. But in that questioning and being open to the more, are there also things like gravity, like oxygen, like those things that are just true? Yeah. And that is the base in which you move towards beyond the known. So if I'm like sitting in like um, I'm sitting in standing in, with a line, right? And this, this is the truth. This is what I don't know yet. I can say that okay, all of these things are. I'm standing on top of it in order truth. to go and yeah look over there. Truth must help you to open up to higher truth. So I can put down, but like I guess nothing about me could sit in the other side of truth, yeah. right? Because yeah. I'm I don't know that yet. Right. Right. But, but, but wait, wait, wait. You're asking a very important question. I want to establish the basic. I am limited to what I've known. Do you accept that? Yes. Okay. Do I give a chance for something more than the known to be present? Yes. Okay. I'm just like, in my mind, this is how I'm imagining it. So we're imagining it the same way, right? Like I'm looking up. Okay, I'm looking up and everything, the unknown is there. Everything that I hope to know is up there. But what I'm standing on is all these truths, right? Okay, and let this truth don't deny the unknown. That's all. So I don't allow it to weigh me down. I step on top of it yeah. and I stand to look up. But as I'm discovering me, do I just get higher and higher and my boxes of truth bring me like taller and taller? Is that a, That's a, a very way? nice way to look at it. I've never looked at it that way. It's a very good way. You can look at it that way. But let me establish the fact. When you can be seated in a space that you don't allow what is known to only be there, when you're available for anything more than the known, you are in meditation. Is it a perpetual state? Yeah. It is something you must constantly be in. Again, eh? let me just put the 101. You said meditation is not sitting with eyes closed. It's a practice. It's, it's, it's a practice. You can do that. Like you're saying, lifting weights is only exercise. So many things are exercise. Right? So, I want you to drop that mind. Meditation is only what they have popularized. Do you know Einstein used to sit with some metal balls in his hand? And he used to lie on the chair, from what I heard. And he will sit in this space, they call him, in between. And he has to be alert enough of the ball. If he falls asleep, the ball will fall off. He must also be relaxed enough. You understand? And that's a kind of a meditation. What is meditation? It is birthed by the understanding my known traps me. My known doesn't allow anything beyond the known to be there. For me to get into the space that I can allow, what I know does not limit me only to the known. It's like the logic and magic yeah. fine line. Like I can know that gravity holds me down, but I'm not held down. No, you can by also gravity. you can also put a uh, what a uh, balloon with hot air in it and float up. Yes, gravity pulls down, but the hot air is more lighter than that. It goes up. But hang on, hang on. I think I just use the, like gravity and oxygen because those are like non-debatable no. truths. In the unknown, are facts there? Of course. In the unknown, is there truth? Of course, truth is operating. But you're asking, what is meditation? 
Meditation is simply what I am. It's not all there is. I'm available to more. That's it. To be in a space, I'm not limited by my past. To be in a space, what I've been is not all I'm going to be. To live in that space is meditation. Now, if you go traditionally, you go to Zen, Buddhism, Hinduism, which I've studied a lot. They understood for evolution, right, the old must be put aside. It's like you and I dialogue. I'm the old, you're the new, right? The next generation, right? They found out if you are not in that space of growing, you are simply defending what is there as what you are without allowing anything more to happen. If the more doesn't happen, you inevitably collapse and become extinct. For whatever reason, dinosaurs became extinct. One reason we can say they couldn't evolve. They couldn't catch up. But I think it's a catastrophe. Hmm. Meteorite hit. They didn't have enough time to evolve. They say modern day chicken is an evolution from dinosaurs. But going off topic. What is meditation? Why do you need it? Sadness is what, you know. I will remain this person. Suicide is what? My life will not change. Follow? Yes, you are what you are. The facts are facts. Yeah. You are Apshi, you are, these are, we know the facts. But if the facts limits you, then it's absence of meditation. Like if you just spend so much time looking down onto the facts, like, sorry, this I'm just stuck in my own analogy. Like, like the idea of like, we're just looking and trying to like stick in the facts. You don't even look up to see that there is so much more. See, there. right now you need meditation. You, you just said, I'm stuck with my facts. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that means you give things a chance. Again, eh? this is a beautiful episode. I like it. My subject. Is meditation sitting with eyes closed? No. You can sit with eyes closed. No problem. Right? Is meditation chanting a mantra? Can. Is it all meditation? No. Is a, medi- is a person who meditates has to be vegetarian, has to be a non-smoker, has to, be, has to not party? No. That is using those words to program you. Meditation is anyone who is the cusp of themselves. Anyone who, whatever they have been, is not keeping them as only that, they are available for realization, discovery, for something more. Now follow this. eh? If our civilization grew, if we had a leap in anything, somebody challenged the status quo, right? Somebody had a breakthrough. That means that person was not limited by the past. Do you know what they are trying to do? They are trying to take us back 2,000 years ago. They're trying to take us back to the past. There's a group of people who want to keep us without evolving. I just want to introduce them to dinosaur. Hopefully, Barney. Barney the dinosaur. That means you are Neanderthal. Actually, I've been studying about Neanderthal. They're very beautiful people. You know. Sorry to use them as an example. Hmm. So there is a movement within all of us to remain the same, right? If I come into your house and I change the furniture, you'll be like, what happened? Mm -hmm. There is a a comfort in things remaining the same. But the danger of things remaining the same, you will not allow yourself to grow. Now, let's take suicide. There's many, many reasons. Let's take depression. Could it be the absence of meditation is what is causing it? That they can't see ahead. They say, I'm only this. You're sort of bringing like an entirely new definition. No, it is not an entirely new definition. It is the definition that has existed from Buddha's time. Mm -hmm. Only these idiots out there in the name of meditation, they are just exploiting. If somebody grows a long beard, somebody somebody is a vegetarian, somebody says some nonsense and everybody thinks, oh my God, he's teaching meditation, he's spiritual. No, no, that is exploitation. You follow, there are people out there who are trying to perpetuate. You know, they're like, I'm being calm. Do you know what calmness means? Pull a katana. When you're two people holding a sword, can you remain unshaken? That is calmness. You see a guy catching a surf. Once I was, remember when we were in Canada, we were in Whistler. Somebody was asking about meditation. I said, take me snowboarding and I'll teach you. 
while we are snowboarding, I said, this is meditation. I said, when you're standing, you're on the edge of falling and edge of gliding. That is meditation. What sitting does is it calms your heart rate down. That's something else. There are pills for that too. It calms your, 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 your activator system. So why do you need, why do you need to sit long, long time? Quiet is to come all of the activated system in you that you are in, you are in a reactive mode. So that sitting helps you to be in a non-reactive mode. But the point of meditation is, has my past limited me only to be this? Give me a chance. Has the past, all my experiences, everything that my senses have given me, input as me, is that all I'm going to be? You see, they found out that we are lied to by our senses. We are lied to by everything that happens. It, it reduces us to only what we have experienced. And then we get trapped by our experience. Follow? Right? And they said by that you are not evolving. They needed to find a space that you will allow something more. Like now we know the body's health, one of the hormones you need is growth hormone. Which you get the first couple of hours of sleep, the body releases growth hormone. That's what I heard when you say, right, growth hormone. Are you in that space of growing? Now, why children are happy? They are perpetually in the state of growing. Hmm. Follow? So, wait, wait, so hang on. Let me, let me teach this. Have you meditated? Of course you have. Whenever you are sitting and thinking of a new way to do something, whenever you are not limited by your past, whenever you are in a happy frame of mind. So we have to put that mind aside. Now, I'm, I must, I'm going to use this. There are a lot of new people. In the name of meditation, they'll suck you into a tradition. The name of meditation, they'll make you do all kinds of things. They're controlling you with that name. That is not meditation. That is you agreeing to a tradition. Good, good luck to you. If that's what works for you, fine. You understand? They think a, a, a meditator cannot get angry. A meditator is the one who gets angry when things are wrong. Because he mounts a response. So, I want to use this. Eh? The word meditation has been taken and used to install some idea to again control you. Meditation is to be free of the definition of you. Cool? Yeah. Very is good. meditation also rehabilitation? It can be. There is a part of meditation that requires rehabilitation. When you're hyperactive, when you're in a reactive mode, when you're constantly reacting, sitting quietly helps you to calm down. Follow. There are medicines for it. There are other things for it to mm. calm down. Calming down is not meditation. Calming down is what you need to enter meditation. Follow. Mm. Like you need to be in a space that you are not reactive, you are not challenged, you need to be in a space nobody... Like I sat, I don't know, 10 years, 8 years, I was, I, I did it all. I sat and what I did was, I was trying to calm my reactive mode. I'm calm against all the traumas you have gone through, all the reactions. You know what is a reaction? Oh my God, I'm only going to be this. Oh my God, this is all my life is going to be. It's a reaction, it's a panic. So when you calm the panic down, that's not meditation, that's calming. What is mm. meditation, Apshi? You know this is all you are, you have experienced. Is this all? No. You are in meditation. The moment you remember that you are in, in meditation, you follow? Do you, I just like, I guess I struggle to think about how people could think that they are like fully cooked at any point. Ah, you see, you then you are living in meditation, so... To know that you are not fully cooked is meditation. I like <laughs> the <word. laughs> Like how do I don't and, But what they are doing, they're using meditation to cook you. <laughs> I just I I don't quite understand how anybody, literally at any point, maybe if you're 70 or 80, okay la, but like and before that point, how you could think that this is it. Wow. This shows more about you. Well, which means you have been meditating in your own way. Do you know what's the problem with a village? I tell you, 
very beautiful things about village, you know. Village, after some time, nothing new is allowed, you know. There's a danger about village, you know. Everybody get fixed in the way. They defend their way, you know. They, they, they don't want any changes, mm. right? And that's when you collapse. This is all I am. And you've watched everybody remain the same, right? That's not meditation. Hmm. That is against meditation. Do you know why I like cities? And the, my, my favorite city, it'll be very strange. A person who writes about meditation and enlightenment loves, I like Times Square. Hmm. My favorite place of all time is Times Square. You know why? Noisy. I always say it's the belly of dingy. the beast. No, dingy. No, anything is possible. One hundred million dollar apartment is rising here. Each apartment is hundred million dollars. I love that unsettled. That it's growing. Yeah. I've been to Switzerland. I've been to many places. Where when things are all settled, it's almost like anything new is not allowed. It's against evolution. Do you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. It is not that I will buy an apartment and live in Manhattan or in Times Square yeah. all the time. I always say I love it because you know why? You are not allowed to be the old. Yeah. Something new, a new show coming up, a new thing is coming up. What is meditation? Yeah, I think that like the big cities, they definitely like, I went to Melbourne recently and it's a big city. But I was telling my friends, I was like, it's, it looks like a big city, like a New York or a London, obviously not as bustling, but it's so settled. It's so sit like seated that I'm like, oh, it's so boring. Why would you live in a big city like this if you don't have that? There we go. Where is that? What do you see? Okay, okay, slowly, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not condemn it too much. <laughs> no, it's, it's beautiful. Being settled is good too. Being settled is good too. But if the settled destroys the new, mm -hmm. then it is, it, is, it is a prison. So now what is meditation? What is meditation? Every child is in meditation because the child knows this is not it, right? Where do people collapse? Now, let me attack a little bit in the name of meditation. I think they are doing so much wrong. I've written hundreds of books on it. They, have, they, have, they are doing so much wrong. What meditation is supposed to undo is what they are using meditation to redo, to make you go back 2,000 years, to, to get you stuck, to, to consolidate you. That is abuse. Meditation is what I know does not prevent me from exploring what I don't know. Mm. So if I can sit, not be limited by my own self, and I'm perpetually... Mm. I like what Osho said. You know what is meditation? He said, endless beginning. Every day is a new day. It's like moving from a limited mindset to an unlimited mindset. Uh, yeah. I don't know if the word unlimited is right. We are not allowing the limitedness to be all. Let's mm. not talk about unlimited. The moment we say unlimited, that's our limit. Mm. You know what I mean? That's yeah. our limit. So what, what I'm saying is now, let me ask you now. I teach you. Have you been meditating in this context? Not you sit eyes closed. Mm. I'm asking you. And do you need to be in that space often? Yeah, you go home, you have your quiet time, you play with your cat, mm. but you sit. But aren't you in that moment trying to be free from the abuse of knowing? You see, all your friends will keep you only to your known. Mm. You tomorrow change, sorry. If tomorrow you change your hair to pink color, they'll be shocked. What happened? Mm. I mean, they should be. I would be <laughs> shocked. But isn't almost everybody that know you want to keep you as how they have known you. From, yeah. Don't you find time? I need to go chill. I need to sit. I need to mm. be quiet. I need to not allow what I've known to limit me and I wake up to something possible. So now I give you the description when you see Buddha sitting. What is he sitting? He's freed from the known and he's bubbling with all that can come to be. So now, is meditation celebrating what more there is? Story, yeah? Socrates is not known to teach about meditation, but I think he's one of the master of meditation for real. 
He was going to be poisoned in the morning. That night, he was put in the, wherever they put him in, with a guy who was playing harmonica. And Socrates said, can you teach me? He said, are you mad? They're going to poison you. I don't know whether my, my story is exactly historical, but <laughs> enjoy. He said, are you mad? They're going to kill you in the morning. He said, don't worry, teach me. That's how I've lived my whole life. Hmm. That means he's learning, he's growing. Now, so now, is meditation that bubbling state of aliveness? Like today when I came here, I, I, I just put this up. You can keep it or take it away. As a bit, I was researching something. I was researching on this, uh, what is his name? Sp Sposkowski. I, I find it hard to pronounce the name. A very beautiful scientist. He says that there is no free will. And I agree. He says you are so predetermined by hormones and, and he studies baboons. You know. mm. He says we are so predetermined. He says there is no free will. He said when, you were pre when your mother was carrying you, the first three, four months, your mother's financial situation or life situation determines something in your brain. When you're born, the first thing you get impacted has created something for you. <clears throat> if that is true, your mother was very loved at that time. <laughs> for you to know. Very loved. Now we know everything influences. He's saying there's no free will. That means we are, we are determined by the whole system. I'm saying meditation is agreeing with that. But doing everything you can not to be a victim to that. Mm. Do you know, I said, why I said I was a little bit down, as a bit like, ah, philosophical. Like, like, I feel like people don't have a chance. Again, I don't mean to be depressive. I think people don't have a chance. You know why? They're so stuck. Because last night I was, I was doing some work with the students and we were talking about consciousness. And one thing became clear in the discussion that you are going to go back to your known. It's like men, how will they treat women? How they have known, how their father treated their mother. Mm. Do you know how much you are struggling just to bring a little bit change? It's that so true. I was talking to a friend recently. She just told me this story of, I mean, we've talked about Paul and the Rose City Driller. And it sounded to me like her father was a driller. And she said that, oh, he was, she was excited to do something. And just before she left to do it, her father said something that just kind of like spoiled it for her a little bit. When I heard her say that, I was like, oh my gosh, she's probably going to spend her entire life fighting the urge to treat all her friends, her loved ones, the exact way her dad treated her that she hates. Mm. Because when she said that, I was kind of like, you've kind of done that to me in my mind. I thought yeah, that. Yeah. But I can see that she doesn't want to be that. But that... Huh. So now... This is when I'm saying, I'm not disagreeing with this, this Professor Roberts. Put the name down uh, at the description. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm so Petrovsky, sorry. Petrovsky, Swarovski. <laughs> but, but I love him. He's with beard. I like the guy. He's one of these real authentic guy. He says there's no free will. He says you're stuck. You're, you're, you're hardwired. You're going to repeat. Hmm. Which means we're going to be extinct. We're going to just repeat the past. Life is changing, demand is changing, you die. This is when our forefathers, my forefathers, our forefathers, discovered this truth about humanity and introduced meditation. What is meditation? Being so mindful that I don't repeat. I don't make what I know all there is. So how do you meditate? You must find time where you can sit and be free of every experiences that is limiting you to only being Apshi. You must birth to the new Apshi. That is why there's a master named Atisha. He will always say, rely on the happy frame of mind. And what I mean by happy frame is like the child. I'm not limited. Even though nine out of ten times, you're going to repeat like Paul's study. Human behavior. You you get you are born with a personality. You might in a in a sixty five years life journey you might change five percent. So he's saying you are stuck. This is all you're going to be. But now, I guess it's the belief that you can be more. No, it, it doesn't come into play. So you're thinking that the 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 dog can fly. You can believe all you want. A dog can't fly. 
It's the facts. This, this, mm. this is why you brought up facts. The facts says you are genetically stuck to be this. Right? Okay, now having said that, let's, let's assume we accept that fact that my inherent personality will not change. But what can be done is, I can be in a state that that is not all in operation. Hmm. Is they say you can be born with a tendency to be an alcoholic. Like addiction is now they know it's biology. It's not habit. But you can be in a space that that is not all in operation. It's like this. You know, are we all angry? Of course we are. Should that be the only thing there is? Yeah. It's like they, there's this thing that they say that like, you know, we have a first thought that you see somebody and the first you think maybe something judgmental and then you're like, wait, wait, no, no, no. That's not, don't think that way. Everybody's like this. And they're like, yes, the first thought is the conditioning, is the yeah. like base. Yeah. But the second thought, that's you. Probably. But now no, hear me carefully. Hear me carefully. It's a good opportunity for your audience to learn meditation. What is meditation? Being in a space where you are calm, you are not triggered. Being in a space you are allowed to look at yourself and look at your limitation. Being in a space not to allow that is all being there. Make sense? Yeah. And that you must do. You follow? Yeah. Once I was giving a talk in Singapore on the radio, I don't know, 25, 28 years ago, and I was talking about meditation, came down with a group of Indian people. Some people were following me. They kind of got excited about me. And went to the restaurant and suddenly I ordered chicken. I lost 80% of those people. They're like, I'm like me eating chicken and me meditating. And I was, I was doing a lot of weightlifting at that time. So I needed the protein. They're like, I thought you were a meditator. I said, sir, my wife is pregnant. So are you going to deny me for having sex with my wife? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, I was, we were making up Aishi, your sister. So. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm saying this out to liberate you. Don't buy this bullshit. They are selling you what you have known and exploiting you. Right? They're just exploiting you. What is meditation? Being a genius. Mm. What is meditation? The cutting age. Einstein must have lived in meditation, isn't it? Van Gogh must, must lived in meditation. Now they are showing a yogi with his eyes closed, sitting in a cave. Good for him. Maybe he's in samadhi. Maybe he's in union with the cosmos. Good for him. Imitating that is imitating the all. You have to find your meditation. You understand? Yeah. Now, I give you another insight. You know when you know you are meditative, when love is flowing, when you feel creative, when you feel dancing, when you feel like celebrating, when you feel like hugging somebody, when you feel like giving somebody a chance, when you look at something and see beyond only what you can see, you give hope for something more. Do you know why the Hindus have built statue? You know why build statue? We know the statue is man-made. Why? Look at the statue and don't reduce it only to your knowing that that is just a stone. Mm. It's, it's almost a creative brain exercise, you know. I can look at a picture and remember your mother or somebody, right? Or oh, now this ring. That, that Now when I look at this ring, you salvage this ring from the Mediterranean. <laughs> we, was, we were swimming in Anba of the yacht. Somehow I, got, I was fasting for eight days or ten days. I lost so much. It fell off. Magnus. And this one went in and got it. It was about what, 15 feet? I have a talent for finding shiny no, objects. No, it is almost impossible. It's like a needle in a haystack, Anba. And I keep thinking it's here. And I've drifted away at least 15 feet. And up she was about there. She went in and she came up with the ring. I'm like, how the hell the ring ended up there? I was also very competitive because the, the captain of the boat was like, I'll find it. And I was like, you're not going to find it. I'm going to find it. So now, <laughs> where was I going? I was trying to make a point. Now, when I look at this ring, I remember that. It, 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 it holds that memory, right? Okay, it's an impression. I, I, I lost my point. You guys just get a story. So this ring 
reminds that. Mm. Ah, let me say my point. Why do Hindu build statue? I look at the stone, and all I can see is a stone. Can I see something more? So this ring now has a different value. It's my miracle ring. It's my miracle, my my emerald miracle in Anba, and and the water was the same color. I don't know how the hell, maybe this white thing. I don't know how you figure it, it out. It it glistened. It is shining. So now, now, it is not reduced just to this, right? It is the sight of somebody who loves you. You know, how does a father look at his daughter? A mother looks at his daughter. There's a baby. No. Now, what is meditation? Can I get into that space all the time? And you have to find your way to meditate. It could be go to the gym, lift weights, run, paint. But remember this: in order to be in that state, you must be kind of calm. Yeah. You know that then you can do all that usha. Diving is a great example no, of having to be. No, meditated. no, you can sit. You can tell a mantra, and that's an exercise of calming down. You understand? That is calming. Remember, that's just calming yourself. Don't get excited. Have a silent place. Put some incense. Go for it. But that's not the point. That is just calming. What is meditation? That cutting edge. Before we end, yeah. Where do we start? Love life. Get excited. Be like Socrates. What is next? I know a lot of people will tell. Don't let the facts of life limit you to only itself. What is the new you bring? Don't you dare be limited. Sorry, I know we're supposed to end, but I think that like it just you know if we're perpetually seeking the more, can we ever be content? No, you have to be content to seek the more. Let me explain. Content means I accept my fact. Most probably there is no free will. Most probably, I'm stuck with all of this. So you have to be content. You have to deal with it, right? You have to make peace. This is the challenge, not a false dreaming, and then you leap. If not, you are in denial. That's when you become. You don't be content. Content is what you know. I realize the fact of life. This is the fact. Oh my God! This is how I am. This is my personality. I have, I have what do you call it, dyslexic or whatever I have. This is my condition, and and I suffer by it or struggle with it, but it doesn't mean I give up the possibility of the leap. Hmm. Right, not to lose that. Like I'm painting, I'm challenging. I I know what I can do. I want to do something more, and I know everything that is preventing me from. If I become mindful, I have that breakthrough. Those are the moments of meditation. Now, there is a state that you cannot be limited. You become endless. They call it samadhi. They call it enlightenment. Whatever you want to call it. So there is a state you can break that chain and wake up. So let me just take some time. Begin by seeing. Oh my God! Like what you said, gravity. This is my fact. This is how I am. This is my condition. Oh my God! I'm stuck by my condition. It looks like this is how I will be. While struggling with it, you hold some space for something more. Can you? Rowing. Paul calls it rowing. So, what is meditation? Well, when you go out and have your party, right? when you guys say, "Oh my God!" Now that you're going to go to London, that's your meditation. You are venturing out. Is it scary? Of course. Yeah. Are you going to make it all the time? Most probably not. But meditate. Now, when you see when I use the word meditation. Now, eh, for people who are listening, I give an exercise. After this, finish for a few minutes. Just be with yourself, and then celebrate some possibility that you know you are not going to live and die as this. There is more to me. And even what I can see, that life holds something more than what I can see. Do you know how long it has taken us to change our sight? Now we don't look at women as weak. For the longest time, that's how they looked at it. Even women looked at it that way. Isn't you all agree with that? We have leaped. 
we are now beginning to see there's a possibility of, of we all living in just. You must understand there is a force out there. In order to govern you and control you, they must break your meditation, reduce you only to this, and rule you by that. What is meditation? The greatest rebellion. The rest, somebody imitating something, he made a mind about somebody in the past doing some nonsense and exaggerating as though he's peace and tranquil and the rest of it. No. They are wrong. The young are meditating. The old don't grow old. Hindu, there's one god, you know, it's called Lord Muruga. I always thought he was the real teaching for meditation. He's perpetually young. If that makes sense. I want to do one more episode on this later. We'll do a part two soon. Yeah. Maybe with some questions. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.